morning, my name is Jennifer and today I'm going to show you my cheese fridge. It is time to flip cheeses. We're gonna haul all of these out and take a look at them and flip them and then restock the fridge. Today, we took our Holstein cow to auction. She gave us so much milk, so many cheeses. I actually should do a tally of how much milk. If she was giving two to three gallons a day for over a year, I mean, you can do the math, a thousand gallons, somewhere in there, maybe more. I got an awful lot of cheese from her. So I'm just gonna show you what I have. This is uh, our celebration of Daisy. I was just gonna take a picture of the cheese without you. In okay, you can get a picture without me, but then I want to show you too. I don't, I don't need 50 photos of you and your cheese on my phone. Okay, that's enough. It's ridiculous. I already got five or six too many. I've been making cheese with Daisy's milk for over a year. A lot of it we have eaten already, and some of this cheese has come from a mix of Emma's milk too, because we've been milking her for a couple months now. And we got a little bit of milk from another farm at one point, but most of this is, this is Daisy's. She was an awesome cow. This is the Cotswold. I'm going to kind of organize these as I go along. Not quite ready to eat. This one is a bel paese which is ready to eat we've already broken into it it's very yummy this one is a lancashire i think yep lancashire and it's ready to go we've already started eating it it's a little bit stronger flavored a little bit sharper than some of the other ones this is my bum swiss that is not ready yet but i don't think it has um the propionic shamani was bad it had expired and i didn't know that this one was a traditional cheddar from a long time ago but i am aging it longer because it's Excellent, and I want to see. Oh, it's ready to go. It's nine months old now, so ten months old. So I think it was going to get really good. It's very hard, and maybe get some crystals in it. This is a Budokas. This one's a home. It's been six months old already. This red stuff is something that's on the inside of the um, the cheese fridge that just gets when it touches the wall. I need to spray it on the cheese fridge today too. Jarlsberg also ready to go. Baby Jack, also ready to go. This is a funky white Colby, which I did not like. This is an Alpine cheese, which was very good. An Asiago, which is ready now. This is a farmhouse cheddar, ready now. Romano, this is not ready until May of 2023. So that one's older. Gouda, not quite ready yet. This is the one I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm excited about it. Traditional cheddar, old, and I'm said angel until 1022, so it's not ready yet. I'm just letting this one go for a long time. Here's the pepper jack I created, also ready now. Here's the one I filmed. This is not quite ready yet. I'm gonna go down to this end. A derby, not ready yet. Sal George, not ready yet. Gruyere, not ready yet. Holy, not ready yet. Salazar's not ready yet. Cheddar, ready now. But it can go for a long time. I can just age it a lot longer. Traditional cheddar, fairly decent. This is number five, way back in the beginning. A uh, Havarti, it's ready now. But I'm gonna let it go longer. This is Rosemary Asiago. This is a black pepper parm and it was not be ready for a long time, but I'm excited about this one. This is my Asiago that kind of failed, and this is the other half of it. Parmesan, not ready for a long time. Sal Georges, not ready yet. Parmesan, ready next month. This will be uh, eight months cheese, no, 10 months cheese in next month. I'm excited about that one. And another parm, same thing. <gasps> this one I could open soon. 
I could open that in a couple days. Do you see those like those white spots? I wonder if that's crystals. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a, a derby and that's marking. It tells me it's a derby. It's a really fun cheese to make and I want to make it soon. I just cut into it and I really like it. A Gruyere. I already did taste it before and it was really, really good. But Caroline, the dog. This is a double Gloucester. I just made this and it will not be ready for a while. Budapest. This one is a Montazio and it's not ready for a long time. This is a Jarlsberg that was kind of failed, as you can see, because it does not have the holes. Galpese, ready now, but it can wait longer. This is a Colby. It's like really soft. I love, I love Colby. We use this one. This is maybe one of our favorites for grilled cheese, for anything. This says rubbery. This one had a little bit too much rennet in, I think, and it's a little bit rubbery, but it still melts fabulously. It is a delicious melting cheese. Manchego, I do not like this one. I don't know if it's because there's lipase added to it, because when I made another cheese, I think it was, I forget what it was. Oh, the Boris had lipase in it, and I, it gives a taste like, after you vomit the flavor in the back of your mouth, that's what it tastes like to me, and I don't know if that's actually what lipase does and makes the cheese taste like, or if I'm doing something wrong with it. So, I don't like this cheese but maybe some people love it. I have no idea. Speaking of cheeses I don't like, um, these two cheeses. This is the Aboris, and it is plenty ready, but I have not done anything with it. And this is the, the Baby Jack. I think it's gross. I don't think the, the outside rub gives any good flavor, and the inside I think is maybe okay, but not really, and it's probably gonna be pig food. Parmesan, that'll be ready at Christmas. Gruyere, ready soon. That's exciting. And Gruyere, not ready for a long time. This is the salted one that my hundredth cheese is looking really good. We'll see what happens. These are two cheeses that I am making now. This is the Tom, and this is, oh goodness, what did I just make? I totally forget, I'll have to look it up. Oh, this is the Arlsberg. And inside right now I have, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What did I just make? A raclette cheese, raclette cheese. See that red stuff in the back of the fridge there? I'm not sure what that's from, but that's what's getting on the bags of cheese. Clean fridge, ready to load it back up with cheese. So here's the cheese fridge. It is repacked, it is done. These are the bad cheeses, the Manchego and those other two cheeses, the Baby Jack and the Boris that I don't like that I'll probably feed to the pigs. These are all cheeses that are ready to go. I've been cut into and are ready. You know, we don't eat them all at one time and they can just continue to age. These are cheeses that are soon gonna be ready for tasting, like they're coming due very soon. Down here, these two shelves are the things that are longer aging, so. Montazio, Parmesan's, Gruyere's, Sal George's, Asiago's, um, Gloucester. Yeah, a bunch of thingies there. And then in the door, I have cheeses that are already cut and ready to be eaten. We just come down and grab them whenever we want a cheese. So now I have a lot more room. I have a few more cheeses to come down soon that are upstairs. And then I'll just kind of tuck this away for a while.